<laughs> I am Rafa Benito, uh, you are watching the Redman TV. I am Paul Meacham reporting for the Redmen TV from the brand new Museum of Liverpool in, well yeah, Liverpool. Fairly self-explanatory that wasn't it? Uh, it's Dietmar Hamann's book launch. We spoke to the man a couple of weeks ago and today is the event itself here. Uh, I'm here to catch a word with the big man once again and uh, a, few of his, uh, a few of his friends as well and see what they make of uh, their Kaiser experiences. So without further ado, let's get into it shall we? I'm really, really proud to publish this book, partly because, let's face it, Diddy was a pretty special player, very special player. Um, he also was a player with an enormous amount of charisma and personality, and that isn't, doesn't always, those two things don't always go together. So, um, even more than that, I don't think I've ever published a book um, by a German Anglophile before. Um, so, Diddy embraced um, this country, he embraced this city, he has a genuine love affair with this city and with the people and with the football club and its fans in particular. I, I hope that when you read the book you'll agree with me that it's as classy as Diddy was in the middle of the park for Liverpool and it also has a great deal of his personality because I think it'll raise a few laughs when you, when, when you read the book. Right, obviously I'm here with a man who should need no introduction. Uh, Jamie, obviously it's Diddy's book launch. Uh, you feature quite prominently in it. Like, uh, it talks a lot about your friendship as the uh, the cultural attaché for, for Bootle. Um, what, what, does, what does Diddy mean to you as a, as a mate? Oh, it means a lot. I mean, obviously people outside will see us as football teammates and, and mates if you like, but for me and him it's probably a little bit more than that. And it doesn't happen too often in your football career. People leave and come and go. And, we stay in touch with some, not, not most of them, but with, with the they always, always in contact with him because we, uh, we got on so well. I was well versed before the come. My mum got me for my birthday actually, so it wasn't a feeling. Uh, looking for a taxi in town and uh, you know, struggling to get a taxi. We all think, you know, we're recognisable figures in the city, we can get a taxi and couldn't get one. And this Jamie who we've taken out, we think we're looking after. And, or he's looking after us, really. he's older than us, he's German, he, he's shown us the way, really cool, yeah, he's putting him in charge and he decided to uh, just lie flat, six foot of him, or six foot two of him, in the middle of town, in the middle of a road, and uh, stopped the car, and then decided to give the fella 50 quid to uh, give us a lift, to uh, give him a lift home, and he didn't know where he lived. <laughs> he'd, uh, he'd only just signed, so he was in a, a rented house, didn't know, forgot the, too drunk, forgot the address and that. I think that sums the fella up and that's, I think that's why uh, I see, you know, especially the local lads talk to him. So yeah, I'm here with another man who uh, needs no introduction. Uh, Steve, obviously, um, did your man's book launch. Uh, what, can, what have you got to say about the man, as, 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 not just as a player, but as a man himself? Like? Well, that's the reason why I'm here, really. I think everyone knows what kind of player he is and what he's done for the club, but I'm here today more for the person. Uh, he's such a great lad, you know, he looked after me. I came into the team at, at a young age and uh, got the captain's armband at a young age. And, you know, he was an experienced player in the dressing room and he looked after me. I learnt a lot off him. And, the right times, so he gave me the right advice, so I've got total respect for the guy and the player. So you're saying that maybe if it was here, you got Biscan's book launch, you might be might be giving it a miss, like? Yeah, yeah I wouldn't say that. You know, he <laughs> has never done anything to, uh, to harm me, but you no, know, you mean you, you you make friendships as a footballer uh, with certain players, and you don't make friendships with others. And did he's someone who uh, has become a friend? You know, he was there a long time, you know, adopted scouts if you like, and I've always got on well. So you know, thought of there coming respect the, uh, the book launch today. <laughs> the thing about Diddy is uh, he reminds me of that puppet show, you know, Thunderbirds. Anything can happen in the next half hour. <laughs> and, you know, some of his teammates here, they'll probably tell you that when Diddy's around, it probably will. And it's still early doors yet. And uh, it probably will further. So, two other reasons why I'm here today. One is that when I first started working with Diddy on this book, one of his mates said to me, he says, you do realise this is going to be a big investment, you know? And I thought, well, of course it is, you know, I'm going to help him write a book, I've got to spend a lot of time with him. But I thought, well, you know what I'll do? I'll keep a log of the investment that I make in this book, and now the project's come to fruition, I can sort of share with you the log of my investment. Uh, bottles of which Mount Estate, 2004 Shiraz, nine. 
Uh, packets of Marlboro, Marlboro light cigarettes, 11.5. <laughs> Pipes of Cronenberg, 1664, 117. <laughs> and I was just looking after did, he, did his breakfast. <laughs> Yeah, the big day's here, the Buff Lords is finally here. Are you happy that it's finally, it's finally out people from Maya? Yeah, it's uh, good now, uh, obviously, the hard work was doing the book. But um, yeah, the day has come and, um, you know, hopefully people like it. And, uh, you know, I think it's a good read, as I said. But um, yeah, I'm happy. I'd don't really want to be in the in the limelight for too long, so uh, I'm, I'm I'm glad it's over. <laughs> Is that it? Once you've done your uh, done your shining, you can go back to your uh, normal life again. Exactly. Obviously, there's a few more to come. I've been in London for the last two days, so I've been there uh, a few more days of um, of craft and uh, doing a few signing sessions, obviously, which I, which I like to do. And um, you know, but uh, as I said, uh, uh, at times it can be a bit. Uh, when you do the same thing repetitive, repetitive all the time but uh, no, it's been good and uh, as I said a great turnout today I'm, I'm appreciative that, that uh, obviously Steven Cameron turned up so no, it's been good. Well there you go, star stood an event from a Liverpool Football Club perspective for Didi's book launch there. I can assure you it is an astonishingly good read there, and I'm not even being paid to say that, so please do get hold of a copy and, and support the Kaiser here. It is quality and uh, yeah, thanks very much for tuning in. I'm Paul Machin from the Red Men TV from the Museum of Liverpool, shining off. Ta -ra.